In King Richard Road in Leicester in 1964 was the entrance to one of the world's very first public railway stations. This was the Westbridge terminus of the former Leicester and Swannington Railway. This early railway line was open to passenger traffic in 1832. We're following the line from the Westbridge terminus out through Glenfield, Ratby, Newtown Anthank and up to Desford. The line was surveyed by George Stevenson and the engineer was his son Robert Stevenson. And work began in the year 1812 to build a line from Leicester to Ellistown and Swannington to bring coal into the city of Leicester which at that time was turning to steam in its industry. At the same time father and son were engaged in the construction of the Stockton and Darlington Railway and the Liverpool and Manchester. The first two steam operated public railways in the world. And the tunnel is one of the very first public railway tunnels ever built. It's dead straight and dead level and is just over a mile in length. Not without its problems, two contractors went bankrupt and it was only by money poured in by a local quarrier by the name of Everard that the tunnel was ever completed. At the other end of the tunnel is the village of Glenfield with its second station, built in 1876 and closed in 1928, and by the level crossing is the original station building which served as the gatekeeper's house until the building was demolished only a week after these pictures were taken. Continuing up the line from Glenfield, we come to the disused workings of the Glenfield Premier Brick and Terracotta Company Limited, which are very close to the exchange sidings, uh, which were used right up to this date in 1964 by the Gruby Granite Company by the junction with Lord Stamford's private railway, which served the quarry. Just up the line from the exchange sidings is the level crossing and the remains of the station at Ratby, which uh, closed on the cessation of passenger traffic in 1928. And just past uh, Ratby we come to Newbridge Crossings near Newtown and Thank, where we shall see the final counterpart of Comet, the first locomotive, which drew its train along the line in 1832. Just up from Newbridge Crossings, the line reaches Desford Junction, where the Midland Railway later built a line from Leicester London Road out to uh, Burton upon Trent. The Leicester and Swannington originally carried on all the way to finish in a cable worked incline at Swannington. The company finally sold out to the Midland Railway in 1846 which means that the, this stretch of the original Leicester and Swannington was the very first piece of the Midland Railway system. The railway originally opened on the 17th of July 1832 when Comet drew the first train along the line. The original line from Westbridge to Desford Junction finally closed to traffic in 1964 and the track was lifted and this very early historic railway passed unsung into history. Finally Desford Station, a piece of typical 19th century Midland Railway architecture from where the line continued up to uh, Burton-upon-Trent via Colville and it closed to passenger traffic in September 1965 and became single track.